What's up guys, Willie's Collins back with another video. Just had a con over the weekend and it was a success. Uh, I'm very excited uh, to show off what I got and talk about how it went. I only took a few pictures. I didn't take a lot of video. Um, it's kind of the same thing over and over at this point. I'm just gonna do like a quick recap and do hauls obviously at this point. Um, but I do want to in the future at some point try to like take a video of selling at the con and just maybe do clips and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it was a good show. This was Showcase Comic Con with Showcase Comics and Collectibles located in Slidell, Louisiana. This show is at the Harbor Center in Louisiana. Um, and I've been going to it for a few years now. I've always liked this show. Uh, and it's, it's a little smaller, but it's, uh, it's a good one. And it's a lot of comic books and a lot of like toy dealers. So it's, it's a good show if you're into that kind of thing. Um, but the first day, I'll just talk about it real quick. The first day uh, was a little bit slower than I was expecting. It was good, it was fine, but it was a little bit slower than I was hoping. Um, but the second day was almost as good as the first day. Sunday almost was as good as Saturday, so it made up for it and the show was actually pretty good. So um, it wasn't bad uh, at all. I just was worried that Sunday might be really slow and it would have been a good show, uh, you know, worth it, I would say, based off Saturday alone. But uh, I was worried that Sunday would just be really quiet, but it ended up being really good for me. So, yeah. Um, I'll put up some pictures of some of the books I've sold. I've sold uh, a couple slabs, I believe. Uh, a, a couple of wall books. That's just, that's just it about these shows. They seem to be different. The St. Tammany show, I sold mostly wall books. This show, I sold a lot of back issue, and that seemed to be mostly what I sold. Um, a couple of wall books, um, a couple of slabs, a lot of back issues. Somebody cleared me out of all my Sonic comics, which I had priced to move, but I was doing 20% off everything in the bins in front of me and on the, everything on the floor. Um, and they were priced to move and I had 20% off on them as, as well. So they were gone and I got them for really cheap. So I was fine with that. Um, and then I had a, got a bunch of Savage Dragon books from that like pawn shop, I made a video and showed that I believe. Um, or if I didn't, I got a bunch of post 100 Savage Dragon books, like 60 something of them. And for a dollar, actually less than a dollar a piece because I paid cash, he gave me a little bit better of a deal. And I put them at like between eight and ten dollars a piece. And and with 20% off, you're talking about six and eight dollars uh, a piece but I sold a lot of them, so it worked out. And I know they're, they're kind of hard to find, they're lower print, but again, I sold a lot of those as well. Um, the last two shows I've been surprised, Spider-Man hasn't, like AS, Amazing Spider-Man hasn't been hit that hard. Um, I think it just, I think shows just, you know, vary. Um, but yeah, I'll put up some pictures of what I've sold. Uh, I got a few books for the PC I was very excited about. Um, and then some, good deals so one booth had a bunch of books I bought and they were really good deals and I am very excited about those so uh yeah let's run through the books that I got um I'll probably just throw up pictures I, probably while I'm talking I will have thrown up pictures of the books that I bought or uh, that I sold um but yeah so just as one booth uh, I picked up two books for twelve dollars this is Usagi Yojimbo number 35 uh, for five bucks. And then this one was Usagi Yojimbo by Mirage number one for 10. And I actually gave you 12 for the pair. So these are, this they're both on Key Collector. I think this is like a $20 book and so is this. So I thought it was a good deal. Um, I did one trade. I, I traded a really, really clean copy of X-Men 266 for a a clean copy as well, but not as clean. Um, so I traded a really clean copy of 266 and a, I think it was Web of Spider-Man number one for these two books. I was cool with it. I think I got a little bit more value out of it, but I, I probably wish I would have gotten a little bit more out of it, but it's not a big deal. I still think I came out on top, uh, but I got a, just a slightly less nice copy of 266. It's still pretty nice, but it's the other one was like really mint. Um, and then the reason why I was kind of excited to do it was uh, it had this, Detective 880. So this is a book I don't really see a whole lot um, that dealers have. So yeah, um, 
I thought it was I thought it was fine, fine trade. I, I good stuff. And then he came back and bought some stuff for me later anyway, so I was fine with that. Uh, but yeah, let's go through some of these books that I bought from this uh, booth. They had an awesome deal. This lady who was kind of just selling her collection, um, she kept bringing boxes, and they were pulling out maybe like really big books, but a lot of like keys for. It's four dollars a book or three for ten. So I got a couple of stacks of some nice stuff. So we'll run through them. Up first, I'm just gonna start flipping through these. I got Moon Knight number seven. This is like a Moon Knight and Dare. I'm oh, sorry, Deadpool. Uh, meet like fight and meet up. So this is a kind of minor key. I forget what this is, but this is a Dynamic Forces exclusive, but it's a Virgin cover of the Hulk. And I think that's Alex Ross, so it's really cool. I got a Spawn 300 of some variant of it. Another Spawn 300s, another variant of it. I don't know it's a key issue, but. Uh, Women of Marvel number one, this had an original $18 price tag, which is basically, it goes like 15, 20 bucks. Uh, Thor, I think there's a, a couple, let's actually check it out because it looks like it says Thor six through eight. I'm sorry, because I picked this up. Yeah, so this is Thor, the Jane Foster Thor six through eight. Um, I picked this up for three and a half, three, I say three and a half, it's three dollars and 33 cents for that amount. And that's a key issue there. She-Hulk number two, second appearance of She-Hulk. Another Spawn 300. Moon Knight, uh, Fist of Khonshu number two. That's a key issue there. So all these are basically, uh, most of these are keys. That's why I picked them up. Uh, Miss Marvel number one, Fried Pie. Grendel number one, volume two. So this is the first appearance of the second Grendel, I believe. These are mainly like all like 10 to $20 books. Robotics, number one. Actually, really clean copy. This is a really hard to find variant, I believe. Guardians of the Galaxy, number two variant. Uh, I gotta look up the value on this, but I think it might have some. I've seen, I saw somebody picking this up and looking at it, and they, I was surprised that they put it back because I found it later. Uh, I gotta look the value up on that. Dracula, Eternal Thirst of Dracula. This is a risque cover, I guess, or nude cover. I think this has some value as well. They had a f other issues, but I looked this one up and this has some value. So just a variant cover. This is pretty cool. Superhero battle, super gorillas, superheroes, number one. Cool little book there. I got an Atlas number one, uh, just a Kirby book, a decent shape. So it went out for three and a half, three, just over three bucks. Champions number one. This is a New York Comic Con exclusives. I love picking up exclusives for cheap. Uh, Champions number one, GameStop exclusive. Again, same thing, for cheap all day. I got Nova number one, the hip hop variant, good book. And then Taro, Tower of Shadows numbers two. Like solid stuff, it's not even that, it's actually in pretty nice shape. It's not really beat up at all for $3.33. Number three, Silver Age Horror, you know, maybe Early Bronze Age, whatever it is. And then number eight. I'm sure there was probably more of that because I know a bunch of people were digging through those bins. They ended up bringing more the second day uh, to the con and there was like six or seven of us waiting for them to drop those boxes on the table to start going through. Um, uh, this is, and this is, I think these are a little bit better, but yeah, some nice stuff. Uh, we got Thor, God of Thunder, God, I'm sorry, Thor got a Thunder number 13, the photo variant. Chris Hemsworth, a really cool book there. They had this price at $30 originally. We got Mighty Thor, number one, the Midtown New York Comic Con exclusive. Probably that Jane Foster key that was really hot a while ago. I gotta look up the value on this. I just really like this cover and it says it's a key issue. Um, but it's Guardians of Nowhere, number three, the variant with Venom on the cover. I, I like that Venom cover. Secret Wars number one, Comic-Con box. This is a Hulk 181 uh, homage. The listings on this book are really high, like 60 to $80, but the solds are like 20 to 30, but still a good book. Um, a really cool book here. Um, I got Queen of Vampires number one, hard to find. 
they had it more of the run as well, but it, I would have bought them all if there was a complete run, but it wasn't. Um, but then I saw this one, and I knew it had two books in there, but it also was another number one. Uh, so there's a, there's a number one in the back, but, and I didn't see the other one, I kind of, I switched them, but the other one is the number two, which is on Key Collector and goes for a bit more money. Um, it's just another really, really risque cover and it's a better cover. So not that there's any really real key significance to it besides that it's a nice cover. Uh, these are, were great finds. I got Modern Warfare. I didn't find the whole run, unfortunately, but I got Modern Warfare Ghost number two. Three dollars and thirty-three cents. Number three. I mean, these are. I know these go for some good money. The whole set goes for like probably like three hundred bucks. Number four. Wild Storm stuff usually seems low print. Number and num number six. So no, no number one and no number five. But that is a really nice, some nice books there. Uh, we got Vicky number one. Uh, this is a key. I think it's like the I guess the first appearance, but yeah And then even better shape We got a really nice copy of number four, which is apparently scarce and hard to find It's on key collector. And I got it for three dollars and thirty three cents. So that's really cool I guess it's just like an Atlas comics version of Archie and Veronica and all that kind of good stuff uh, We got a couple of Silver Age number ones for three hours. I, I can't believe these bands. Uh, Outlaw Kid number one, like a nice copy, too. And then, uh, a Ringo Kid number one for under under cover price today, which is awesome. And then, uh, I also got Marvel Point One. This book was a little bit hotter, but. I mean, this had an original $50 price tag on it, and I got it for less than four bucks. So, had to grab that. A lot of these are gonna be, I'm gonna be building, I say building, putting another, a third key box on uh, my tables, cause I have two, and those are those boxes are really popular, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a third. And the variants don't sell as well as I originally would have hoped. So I'm gonna combine, I'm gonna do like half regular variants and then half exclusives. Um, so that way I can put more like sought after key issues. Uh, and then I got four books for the PC. I got Dark Wars Presents 35. I just didn't have it yet, so I had to pick it up. And then these three are were awesome finds. Uh, I probably, I might put, I'm definitely putting the one of these on the wall, most likely two, potentially all three. But uh, I got Predator number one, I'm sorry, yeah, the Life and Death number one, the Fried Pie variant, which actually goes for maybe $30 online. And I was, I'm all about Predator right now. And it's still sealed. I'm probably gonna open it up. I don't really care about that. But to get it for that cheap was awesome. And it's a gorgeous cover. So uh, then I got this book, which was an awesome find. Not that it's crazy expensive, but Planet of the Apes number one. I'm big on sci-fi right now, so this is gonna go on the wall for sure. It's a really nice cover, so had to get that. And then uh, my boy Paper Chase actually grabbed this book and was looking at it and decided to pass on it. Um, and I was kind of happy because I wanted it and this might go on the wall. It's gonna stay on the PC, but it might go on the wall. Um, this is the Tremendous Trump uh, with it's the McFarlane Hulk, uh, like homage cover and there's a there's a few other books and they they're all got a little bit of value to them but i've never seen one in person before and yeah i gotta keep that so stoked about that uh but yeah the show was good uh i don't know what else to say it was kind of the same as the rest of them it was a fun time uh i want i would have wish i would have sold more wall books i you know would like to move some of those but you know, it is what it is. I did well for the weekend, so I'm happy with it. Um, a couple other things that I got recently. I picked up this at a toy shop in Lafayette, Louisiana, because I drove there for work. And I saw this and had to grab it because I'm on Predator. I did not realize how cool the packaging for these um, Kenner, the old vintage Kenner line is. And it just looks 
badass. So I'm probably gonna get the whole line on card, which I'm, they're not that expensive. Maybe a couple of them might have a little bit of value, but they're not that expensive. So I'll probably slowly work towards that. I'm not in a rush to get them all, but if I see them, I'll get them. And uh, I actually might put those on the bottom wall. If, I, if it fills it out, I can maybe put a string across the top so it'll stay up and I think they'd be a cool piece like, or like display. Um, and then I got a couple Megatron figures. Uh, one, my uncle wanted one and I kind of wanted one and they were cheap. So pick those up uh, and some other stuff. But yeah, the con was good. Uh, you, a lot of the same faces you see, I mean, it's, it's a local show, so you see a lot of the same people, but yeah, um, it was a good show, and I'm sure I'll make a, I have another show next month, which is a really small one, but it should be a good one, I'm really excited about that, and then the following month, I have, it's not necessarily a big show, but I have two booths, two 10 by 10 spaces, and I'm currently building a second wall, so I might have two, like, key wall uh, like walls for key issues and I'm going to bring a lot of books. I'm trying to decide, I'm going to bring what I usually bring, um, to these shows, like my usual stock and like priced back issue and all that. And then I'm either going to do like a bunch of $2 boxes or $3 boxes. I'll do like some kind of deal where it's like, if I do two dollar boxes, it'll probably just be two dollars a piece. But if I do like three dollars a piece, it might be like three dollars a piece for two or uh, four for ten or something like that. Um, and try to put just like back issue that I would like to move, you know, quickly, and I don't, I don't feel like you know wait sitting on it. Uh, but that's just stuff I'm gonna decide. And I'm sure I'll make a video on it. But yeah, thanks for watching, and till next time.